think this is actually the worst thing about this whole suite. Oh my god, you guys, I just checked the scores for this tournament and I came. Boxing Day. Oh yeah. Is that a thing? Do you say Happy Boxing Day? I think so. No. <laughs> okay. How was the gym? Gym's good. It was uh, a little busy this morning. People with Christmas guilt. Christmas guilt. I think. No, it's alright. It's good. It's never that full. The yeah. uh, spa and fitness centre is lovely. It's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, it's, really it's just nice. stunning. Yeah. football fifa happy boxing day Thank you. guys matthew was asleep by nine o'clock last night exhausted so we had an early christmas night after our movie and our snack fest we were all just extremely tired and now we have a morning of packing up and cleaning. But we're not checking out till 12, are we? No, that's good. Oh, Matthew, you have a football game at half past nine? Yeah. You're going to watch that while we're packing? Yeah. Cool. Okay, guys, it's time to get ready for moving day. All packed up and we had to be strategic. So Matthew was able to watch his football game while we packed. Um, and the reason why we had to be strategic is because our next hotel, we're only there for two nights. It's a bit of a filler until the last part of the trip. Mm. So we were at Encore for five nights. And what did you guys think of your stay at Encore? Lovely. Yeah, really nice. Enjoyed it. Did you enjoy it, Matthew? Yeah. Yeah. We do like it. It's, it is our favourite hotel yeah. here in Vegas. So I was sad to go. I said to John and I was a bit sad. Like it's halfway through the trip. I just realised today it's halfway. I don't know why I feel sad already. I said it's weird because I've not even left this trip. And I'm ready to come back already on the next one. It's a strange feeling. But yeah, we're looking forward to the second half of the Vegas Vloggity Vlogs and uh, we're just driving now to check our bags and we're staying at the Mirage. Mm. This is the first time the boys are staying at Mirage since the takeover mm. by Hard Rock. Um, we had very bad memories of the Mirage from oh, our last Christmas last, trip. Last trip yeah. For the last trip. Yeah. We all got sick and John's mum passed and it was dog just was Ill. the dog was ill at the vet at the kennels back in the UK it was all around it was just bad bad memories so hopefully this next two nights will erase that and um, make some new ones but we did have some nice Christmas memories yeah, 
Yesterday was so relaxing. Yeah, good Christmas day. And so peaceful. It was so nice because Vegas is extremely busy. This is the busiest that I've seen Vegas since I've been coming. I've never seen it like this before. Um, and it's a beautiful day here. A beautiful day on the strip. I need to wait for my camera to adjust to the light. It's just gorgeous. Perfect temperature. Slight chill. It's a bit cooler today. But I think it's going to warm up in the next couple of days. And we need to enjoy this weather as well because I've just seen on the news that there's a storm Gabriel, I think, back home in the UK. I think that was the name that they gave it. So heavy rain, gales and snow um, <laughs> back home. So, yeah, we need to enjoy this. Today is makeup free. We're giving the skin a break today. I don't normally wear makeup every single day at home and I've been wearing it almost every day here. So just chill, cash, Zara, sweatsuit. Everybody's cash today. The Mirage is pretty cash, isn't it, John? Yes. So we're gonna keep it cash. Yeah, we're shopping as well. Yes, after we drop the bags at the, we're just gonna drop the bags at the bell desk. Um, and then we're going to head to Town Square to do some shopping. Um, we've already discussed the fact that we might have to buy another bag to take home. Yeah. <laughs> and then we'll go and check in at Mirage. And then I've got another slot tournament today between mm. three and six. So that's mm. fun. Looking forward to that. So we've come to the new in and out just behind the Raider Stadium. I think it's on um, Polaris Avenue mm -hmm. and West Russell Road. Um, Mandalay Bay is just back there, if you can see. So you could probably walk here from Mandalay Bay if you didn't have a car. There's a drive through and there's outside seating. There's no inside seating. So it's just a walk up window if you're going to sit outside. We'll try. We're all super, yeah. super hungry. Town Square is not far away. It'll only take us five minutes to get there. And yeah. It'll be warm by the time. Yeah. We've got our shakes and Johnny's coat. It's getting busier and busier. There's so many cars coming in. But that chocolate shake looks good. They're so busy. Look at them. Busy little bees. Thank you so much. Thank you, you too. We managed to find a parking spot and we came outside and we're sitting in the sun. And we got three double double cheeseburgers with grilled onions, three fries, well done, two with cheese. Enjoy, guys. Matthew's a video. <laughs> we at Abercrombie trying sweatshirts on for Matthew for school. Very nice, Matthew. Do you like it? Yeah. We'll take it. So Matthew's got success. First purchase of the day for Matthew. <laughs> and guys, um, it was 30% off. It didn't come up automatically as 30% off, so make sure to ask at the checkout. That's Abercrombie. And then they gave John extra 10% yeah. off military discount. So always ask, it's worth ask. Yeah. Every little helps. And now we're gonna go, we, we don't need to go to Harleston now because Matthew's found his hoodie that he wanted for school. And now we need to have all hands on deck, John. For Bath and Body Works. <laughs> Boys, grab a basket. Grab a basket each. <laughs> thank you. We're good, thank you. Yes, of course. No, we'll need two. You can give them one each, thank you. One each, yes. perfect. Shopping done. Thank goodness we have John here. Thanks, John, for paying and carrying. The heavy lifting. 
carrying stuff. And paying for stuff. <laughs> I'm the cabana boy, don't forget. <laughs> That's why we love you. <laughs> We're going to Whole Foods. Last shop on the agenda today. Guys, it's a beautiful temperature. Isn't it a perfect temperature now? Yeah. So good. Not nice. too chilly, not, not nice. warm, just, just right. Matthew, my little helper. I definitely feel like we need more fruit. Yeah? Yeah? Fruit. Okay, so this is our um, shopping haul so far. We actually haven't got a lot, have we? I just thought we'd get more than this. But we've got some fruit, some oranges, bananas. Love these jalapeno queso crisps, water, milk, my coffee, and yogurts for the boys. And that's all we're getting, I think. Coffee. Oh, and we need to find more coffee. So, um, I'm trying to find coffee. We have arrived, guys. We've just arrived at the Mirage. We were booked in a Mirage suite for two nights, and now we are in a one bedroom penthouse. So, we're on the top floor, 30th floor, and we're in a one bedroom. The room that I had booked originally was due to the M Life offers, the old MGM offers. I booked it and then they changed over to Hard Rock. Um, and that I actually originally booked it for September and then they changed it over to Hard Rock. Um, but I was able to contact a host and ask him to change the dates, which he very kindly changed to today. So it's just two nights. Matthew's got a roll away. The girl didn't um, mention any paid upgrades and I just asked if she had any upgrades. Apparently they're actually at 100% occupancy tonight. The chicken queues were huge, huge. That, that was snaking around about six times, wasn't it? It was crazy. Yeah, but there wasn't anybody in the X bit. Yeah, the X and Icon. icon yeah. So there was no queue. We just walked straight up in the Icon line. Um, and then I asked if she had any upgrades because I would have paid for an upgrade but she went to the back she came um, went to the back room and then came back to us and then she said that she has uh, she said she'll see what she can do if she can find a room that's ready and then she said she had a, a one bedroom penthouse I asked about the roll away she said that she sent that up complimentary and then I did tip her $50 because I felt like $25 tip per night was worth for the upgrade and we have a bar we have matthew's bar because matthew's bar didn't open at bellagio it got taken over it got bought out by johnny's bar so maybe matthew's bar will operate in this hotel yes back to matthew's bar <laughs> and i bought a pomegranate a few days ago at trader joe's the boys have been making fun of me saying i won't eat it i've brought it with me to the mirage i will eat it even if I don't eat it, yeah. I think tomorrow we'll do a blood charm now. <laughs> and I also brought my pancetta from Whole Foods. I brought it here. And we'll probably take it with us to the next hotel. So I'm going to um, end this clip here, guys, because the SOT tournament's going on downstairs. And I really want to get a place. It's a long line to sign up. And it's three till six, so I want to go and do that. So I will see you guys later, probably when we go out for dinner. Or if I see you before that, it's to tell you that I won the SOT tournament. <laughs> we'll see you at dinner. <laughs>
Good morning. Good morning. It is, I think, 7.30. 7.19. 7.19. And we're just waking up. Well, John's been up because he brought my coffee. Yeah. It's a beautiful day in Vegas. I don't know. I'm saying it's a beautiful day. I think it's a beautiful day. The wrap. On the windows. Add a C to the wrap. And it's, that's what it's like. Because you can't see anything. I know. Get this wrap off. This is the and worst. It'll be the best views in Vegas. I think this is actually the worst thing yeah. about this whole suite. Is the wrap on the windows. If it wasn't there, it would be the most beautiful day. Oh, it's three degrees. Yeah. Let's see. Three degrees, cloudy. It's going to be cloudy today, but you know what? It's still a beautiful day because it's Vegas. Yes, exactly. <laughs> no matter what the temperature, it doesn't matter. You can see the view probably. It's just, it's just. A, it's yeah. just such a terrible waste of a view. Yeah. We don't have any major plans for today um, on the itinerary. There, there are two football games that Matthew might want to watch, but um, we'll see if we can get that going. It's really big TV in this lounge of the suite. Probably the biggest TV we've had in any room so far this trip. What are your thoughts so far, Mirage? It's really nice. I was just surprised by this room. We upgraded to a penthouse room, didn't we? Yeah, we got upgraded. Yeah, so it's really, really nice. That the room, compared to the last time we stayed, it was a bit grotty and falling apart. This room is immaculate. It's well decorated. It's clean. It's a really nice room. Really nice. John loves the Mirage. Mm. Yeah. I do. But I like this room. But I remember we stayed in a penthouse suite once before, a long time ago. A two-bedroom. A two-bedroom penthouse suite. And it was uh, very much like this as well. Yeah. It's uh, very comfortable, very nicely laid out. But only one loo in this suite, yeah. which is really odd. Yeah. For yeah. a suite like this. That is strange. Mm. So they should definitely have a guest toilet in the front. Yeah, they should. Yeah, yeah. But hey, we can live with that. Whether or not you can live with that. Uh, not really, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, we'll survive. Um, what did you think of dinner last night? Dinner was um, exactly what we needed, wasn't it? Yeah. It was. It was. It was okay. It was salad was nice. Um, pizza was pizza were okay and. It was a nice, just relaxing meal, wasn't it? It was very, very chill. Yeah. I had the sangria flight and I really enjoyed that. John had a Mai Tai and it was like straight alcohol. <laughs> it was good. No, it was like literally straight alcohol. Oh, right. <laughs> In current situation, we got the football game hooked up from the laptop, signed in Prime using our VPN so the boys can watch football. And this is the current situation. Two very happy boys watching the football. Hi guys, I just had a shower, got ready for the day. The boys are still watching football. Just getting out my jewellery. They are watching their second match. I went down to the casino while they were watching football. Nothing to report. Absolutely nothing. I just can't get anything going at Mirage today um, and last night. My free play conversion went fine and then after that it was just rubbish. So I'm not going to play much more here because I don't think, um, you know, I'm already MGM and win player so I don't want to dilute my comps. So I'm just really playing to cover my comp that I have now. And um, if I get comps in the future, great. I might might use them, might not. So I don't wanna to go too crazy here. I'm gonna concentrate on the other two. And my goal coming into this trip was to make um, platinum at win, to maintain platinum for next year, which I did. Um, I went over, a lot over than I needed to. Um, but I did get the hand pay, so that helped. 
and then I wanted to um, maintain gold at MGM for next year and when I came in I think I needed something like 39,000 tier credits and I only have a few to go I got like close to 30 in Bellagio in the first three days went a bit crazy so yeah that's my goal I'm hoping to get gold at MGM um, when we move to Fedora tomorrow yes that's our final hotel for the trip we're staying at Vidara. I booked it for five nights, um, but we're staying four. I think that's right. Let me just work this out. I'm so confused. Like, I don't even know what day it is anymore. Like, after Christmas, actually, that's a lie. Even before Christmas, I didn't know what day it was. I just know the dates because I know where I need to be on my itinerary and what hotel I need to be in. But as far as, like, the day of the week, I've been lost since I got here, basically. But, um... Today is the 27th, we check out tomorrow the 28th and we move to Vidara. Then we're in Vidara 28th, 29th, 30th, 31st, 1st. We leave on the 2nd, so that's right, we booked it for 6 nights and we're staying 5 because we have a late flight on the 2nd. Our flight's at 9pm, so I always do that. I think. The first four nights were comped, and then the fifth and sixth night were $60 each. So that's good, and um, it's cheaper than a late checkout, because if you pay a late checkout, sometimes you don't even get it. And then when you pay for it, you have to check out at like two. So it's definitely worth doing it that way. And then I just do like online checkout. And touch wood, it's never been a problem before. Um, I just check my charges on the room before I leave. I always keep an eye on the charges to make sure everything's right. That nothing's there that shouldn't be there if it is I just normally call down get them to change it and then when I'm ready to check out I check out so yeah so the boys hopefully finish soon then Matthew can get ready for the day and then I'm gonna go and do my slot tournament wish me luck third time lucky Jesus yesterday was terrible yesterday was worse than the time before so I'm hoping today's better and then we have Dinner reservations at half past six tonight at the Osteria Costa, the Italian yet Mirage. Never eaten here. All the times I've been to Mirage, never eaten here. So we'll see what it's like. I mean, I'm like, I don't know why I'm like this with Mirage, but the dining, like the dining's just okay. The dining is not like fantastic. So it's not bad. It's okay. So I'm not expecting like you know, food from a Malfi coast. But it'll be okay. It's just nice to get out. It's nice to dine together as a family because if you've been watching the vlogs for a while, um, then you'll know where we live. And if you don't, if you're New Year, we live in the middle of Scotland, in the middle of nowhere. We have nothing. We have no Starbucks. We have no McDonald's. We have no Uber. We have no Uber Eats. Absolutely nothing. So we only really eat out when we come on holiday. So for us, it's just a nice thing to do to come away and have dinners and lunches together. It's just so nice. And the reason why this is such a relaxing trip is because it's not just about me, it's about the boys as well, especially Matthew. Matthew's favorite activity on holiday is to eat and just chill out in his room. Because he's, he's a teenager now. So I've got to be accommodating to his needs and not just be on the go all the time. So that's it. Just wanted to get you caught up. <laughs> so yeah, we'll probably, I'll let you know how the slot tournament goes when I come back. I think I'm going to get John designer to the Unity Rewards and then he can also play. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Back from our slot tournament, while we were in the queue waiting for the tournament, John and I, I, I talked John into doing the tournament, so he signed up for his Unity card, mm. and we were standing in the queue, there was lots of people in the queue, we bumped into subscriber, Faye, hi Faye, <laughs> Faye 
and her husband we bumped into them and we had a nice little chat it was so nice meeting you thank you so much for watching the videos but more importantly Faye was first place in the tournament and then John and I played I went first and I was second place I was so excited to get second place but I've since gone back downstairs to have a look to see because there's another um there's another half an hour to go and there's lots of people playing, hundreds of people. And I wasn't second place anymore. So I don't know where I am because they only showed first, second and third and I'm not second and I'm not third. So I'm hoping that I place top 10 because um, second to 10th place is a thousand dollars free play and uh, 11th to 20th I think is $750 free play so I really hope I pl place fingers crossed but more importantly I'm so excited because when I checked Faye was still first place <laughs> God! so John and I are really hoping that you win first place I mean it's only half an hour to go and if you win it's $10,000 free play oh my god why am I so excited for you to win I don't know it was just so nice to meet you and the fact that I know somebody that's in first place it's amazing so yeah, now it is 5.30 and our reservation's at 6.30. I'm ready to eat, I'm hungry. Um, and then we can see if I've placed in the top 20, fingers crossed, but it was so fun. Yeah, it was good fun. <laughs> Manic, but good fun. I didn't, I didn't have a clue what I was doing. But... <laughs> I was cheering you on. Um, he didn't have, he had no idea what to do. He was just pressing, I was just like faster, 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 faster. <laughs> it was so fun to do it together though. So hopefully, fingers crossed, I get something. Oh my god you guys I just checked the scores for the start tournament and I came seventh and I won a thousand dollars free play but more exciting than that say I met you today at Mirage and you won girl you won you won ten thousand dollars free play and I'm so happy for you I swear I was willing you to stay number one all day i kept checking the screens kept checking the screens and then when john and i saw that you won i said to john shall i dm her like i, I don't know if i should let her know because i'm so excited for her and i knew that you weren't staying at mirage so i really wanted to let you know girl congratulations win some big money with that free play i am so honored that i know the winner of the slot tournament so yeah we're on a high we just finished our meal at costa it was nice it wasn't like super fantastic. Everything was great apart from Matthew's mane was a little bit too greasy, the linguine. But apart from that, everything was really nice and I would definitely eat there again. And I'm hoping, because it's our last night here at Mirage, that I will turn my slot play, my free slot play into a win to take with me to my next hotel. Yeah.